Hello friends and fellow bookworms. Today I'll be reading the book Don't Trust Cats, Life Lessons from Chip the Dog, written and illustrated by Dev Petty and Mike Bold. Let's get started. Chip here. I have been described as very smart and also a dog. You're probably thinking, hey Chip, I am also a dog. You seem incredibly intelligent. How can I be my best dog self? Great question. And because I am a good boy, I will answer three words. Don't trust cats. Not the fluffy ones, or the stripy ones, or the very tiny ones with big eyes. No matter how adorable they are, if it has a ball of yarn, walk away. Don't be sad. There are many things you can trust. If you're looking for animal companionship, trust this friendly looking fella. I have a really good feeling about this. Those birds and squirrels you try so hard to catch, you can trust them. They're laughing with you, not at you. However, definitely avoid bees. Long story. And don't trust cats. Trust your persons, even if they aren't grateful when you give yourself a bath and they throw away the wonderful gifts you bring them again and again. And even though they said you were going to the park that one time but it wasn't the park at all and sure, he cheats at cards, but you can trust Grandpa. He's the one who looks in your eyes and says you're a good dog and a pretty dog and keeps those special treats shaped like bones just for you. Helpful hint. The small persons will show their affection in confusing ways. Try to be polite. Persons are way better than cats. The park is full of trustastic things. You can trust that your persons will be happy when you do your business. They are so proud. They even collect it and put it in a protective wrapper. Trust this fire hydrant. It's always been there for you. Trust your intuition about others. This guy here loves sharing. Trust your nose. It will lead you to magical things you can trust to your persons. They will be so pleased. You know what isn't magical? Cats. No how, no meow. Trust that any bed can be comfortable if it's the right bed. You just have to be motivated. Keep walking, mittens. Trust that the mail slot will bring presents for you every day. Trust Fananigan. He doesn't trust cats either. Don't trust the vacuum, or cactuses, or those two criminals at the door. But all these things are better than trusting cats, which you should never, ever do. Unless they seem very, very sorry, and they share their special treats with you. Well, then maybe you can trust them just a little.
besides, you never know when a cat will do something nice, like introducing you to some new friends. I am a smart dog. <laughs> Beware of cats. Did you enjoy this story and were you able to follow along? You can find this and many other books at your local library or check out the description below to learn more. If you want to become a Read Along Book Club member, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any uploads. Until next time!